getting by by the skin of my teeth. Songs are a little bit like children. Uh, they're a lot like children. Um, and I'll give you a, a several um, examples. Uh, the songwriter gives birth to the song. Much like a child. Uh, secondly, songs have a tendency to mm, go off on a tangent here and here and there, from time to time, when you least expect it. You might start with one idea um, and it turn into something else. Uh, and in the end, you never know how it's going to turn out. Just like a kid, you give the song everything you can and hope it's going to turn out like you want it to. And sometimes yes, sometimes no. Um, case in point with this song. Um, the song's called OK. OK. Or OK. Why? Um, the idea, the original idea, had nothing to do with OK. The original idea was I wanted to write a song that included all the southern, um, I don't want to call them cliches, but uh, southern sayings that a lot of the old people used to say. I know, you know, my grandmother used to always say, when somebody, someone asked her how she was doing, she would say, she was fair to middling. You know, which meant she's doing pretty good. You know, she's doing okay. Um, uh, you, you know, a lot of times uh, something happens uh, when you least expect it. It might be, uh, you know, uh, something bad happened. Uh, but it's going to be all right, the person will say. It's all good. You know, it's all good. It'll be all right. You know? um, what I hear every day is uh, when you ask somebody how they're doing, you know, especially in the South, they'll say, uh, hanging in there, you know, hanging in there. And as soon as you say that, they'll say, well, that's all you can do. Um, I always heard uh, the one that says, uh, any day I wake up uh, above ground, you know, it's going to be a good day. So that's that's the way the song started out. Uh, basically, I was going to try to write a song around all these southern, uh, well, in some case, American sayings. Second thing to happen with this song. So I have the idea, and about the same time. The economy, not so good, a lot of people out of work, you know, you're seeing it on the news every night, um, it's all gloom and doom, you know, every time you turn the television on, um, and I had the idea of a guy that, you know, was down on his luck, but he had a positive outlook, you know, he's down on his luck, but, you know, by God, I'm going to turn this around, I'm going to come out, you know, fight. You know, I watch the news programs and, and, and I, uh, I don't want to use the word hate, but uh, I, dislike, I dislike political pundits uh, because, I mean, you know, when I was growing up, we had Walter Cronkite, you know, that's the way it is. And now you've got 15 different people on panels, you know, giving their views and whatnot. And every one of them saying that this thing is just going to be, it's, you know, it's, it's awful, it's... You know, just paint us uh, this, this terrible picture of, of, uh, of what's going on out there. So, um, I, you know, I added that little bit about the talking heads you'll hear in the lyric of the song. Um, I'm not buying what they say. Um, you know, my mama didn't raise no quitter. There's another one of those southern sayings that you'll hear that in the song. So, I had the idea to incorporate that. Um, after this song kind of took a, a right turn, you know, off from that little tangent, um, it, it became something else. Uh, so we're creating a story here. Um, 
And, and so when I'm writing this, this chorus, and the chorus goes, it's all good, I'm hanging in there. Um, like the old folks said, I'm doing fair to Midland. Any day above ground is gonna be a good day. So what, I'm, what, what am I gonna rhyme with good day? Um, okay, okay, that word came out. Well, I always wanted to write a song let me backtrack a little bit here. Let me backtrack, okay? Um, a lot of people that'll, that'll be watching this will, will uh, remember uh, our drummer, Mike Crawford's dad, Charlie Crawford. Um, one of the finest human beings I've ever known. I mean, you know, Charlie always had a smile on his face and um, just, just a great, great human being. Charlie, Charlie was um, really partly responsible for Mike and I playing music together. Um, that, that's another story for a different day, but um, um, if it hadn't been for Charlie and my grandmother um, talking on the street, you know, we, we might have never uh, played music together. But, but one of Charlie's favorite things to say was okay, and it was kind of like AK when he said it. It was like AK instead of OK. And, and, and you know, it's OK, OK. And um, I always wanted to write a song that, that had that in there uh, as, as a tribute to Charlie. Um, and so when, when I had that line, any day above ground is going to be a good day, I said, like Mr. Charlie used to say, it's going to be okay.